play a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay, last time you were starstruck. Uh, oh, it happens all the time. Uh, probably Golden Globes. Uh, it's always the younger folks that aren't hardened by stardom yet. I think, so when you run into any of the Stranger Things kids, you always get starstruck, because you're like, you guys are... Funniest or strangest fan encounter? I got licked in the face once. You got licked, licked in the face. My face got licked, I should say. By? My prepositions right. Uh, by just a very excitable young man. I was too, I was, it was very even. I was shocked, but also kind of admittedly impressed by the chutzpah of this guy. <laughs> Person from history you'd most like to portray on screen? I, that's tough. I, it, all the people that I admire from history, I wouldn't want to, you know, dismantle their good name by the likes of me portraying them. So I'm well very, very weary with that. <laughs> Favorite designers? Ooh. Um, you like Versace? Yeah, I definitely have, have uh, you know, grown into a big Versace fan now that I've grown so close to, to his narrative. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, I've been put on the spot. I can't, I can't think of anybody right now, but... Uh, you don't I, I, have to have it. Though. You don't. By the way, this. I'm going to think about it in a cold sweat You don't at have night. to ask. Well, I'm going to wake up. You don't and go, have to ask. I know the answer. Yeah. Most difficult scene to shoot for the assassination of Johnny Versace. Mm, I think a lot of the stuff with Lee Miglin was, was with who? Lee Miglin, who was the third man uh, that he murdered, uh, which was with um, <laughs> with Mike Farrell, aka uh, B.J. Honeycutt. That was that was kind of wild. Um, for, I won't get into why, but it was it was uh, that was very difficult. Place we'd find you on a day off. At home. <laughs> yeah, it's not very fun. I guess a lot of people would be at home, right? If you could speak to one animal, what would it be? Yeah, it depends. Is is like a real animal, like an actual animal? I was. I think I speak to a hippopotamus. And why is that? What's it like walking around like that? Yeah. You know, I mean, you're not handsome. You know, you're not right. handsome. They're fast though. Yeah. Re- they can run what attracts you in the yeah. opposite sex of a hippo? I'm still su- I'm There you go. Oh, that was a question. I thought you were asking me, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm still stuck on the hippo thing. I don't. I'd want to talk to a penguin, maybe. Penguin, yeah. Yeah, I just want that like I flapping just, around. What's uh, who are your friends? Like, you know, who? Wh- what do you do all day when you're just kind of hanging out in the Arctic? Like, what's what's your plan here? Best advice you ever got? Uh, take responsibility for your actions. What was the worst advice you ever got? I don't know. I, I probably. I, I don't know. Give me some bad advice. Don't go into theater. All right. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's an actor you're dying to share the screen with? Oh man, so many. I've always said this. I've always, always, always said this because he's somebody from the Bay Area that I've always admired. He's had such an amazing career, and this year he's kind of in the center of the spotlight, and he's about to win an Oscar. So, so I don't want to uh, jinx that for him. But uh, Sam Rockwell has always been one of my favorite. Actor. Favorite actors. He's gonna win. Yeah, I hope so. There's two sure winners. Him and the best supporting yeah, actors. Yeah. yeah, he'll be he'll be all right. And even if he didn't, he's uh, he's been killing it for a long time. So music would be surprised you listen to. I don't know if anybody would be surprised. At least people that know me, because I'm such a voracious uh, uh, music consumer, and uh, I sort of have a insatiable appetite for culture in general. So like uh, all kinds of music. Yeah, I, I'm very very deep into a lot of stuff. I think. I don't know. People maybe be surprised that I, I, I really I try and educate myself as much with, uh, like I look at it like an educational project because I didn't grow up listening to it. But country western music, you know, which is super popular outside of my circles, but it's there's so much to be learned from 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 what's going on in the country western scene. So yeah. Person from history you'd like to take to lunch? Oh, Sammy Davis Jr. Knew him well. I bet. Oh, I'm going to have so many questions later. That's so cool. What would you choose Bob's as your Boston. last meal? Last meal, like a really, really nice traditional uh, Japanese meal, like a kaiseki, like very, very ancient samurai kind of stuff. Like You're a little weird, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a compliment. I appreciate that. Person who inspires you the most? I know Larry King's doing pretty well. That's a nice choice. Yeah. In it was the hippopotamus f- coming. That's what you know, I got. I I'm surprised I came up with it. And, <laughs> oh, I I know why. Or rhino. Uh, I just saw Black Panther. Yeah, so good. Whoa! I can't wait to see it again. And those rhinos. 
Oh, yeah, right? How the hell do they ride those rhinos? Yeah, I don't want to burst your bubble. Pretty sure those rhinos weren't real, but for the purpose of this interview, I'm going to go ahead and tell you those are very real rhinos. Maybe they weren't, but that's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. You know what, Ask a Rhino? You know they always have, like, a bird buddy in, like... In comic books or whatever, there's always yeah. like a bird. I just want to be like, what's your relate? Who's looking out for who here? <laughs> who's, who's, who's wearing the pants in this relationship? That movie's special. It is a special movie. It well, is. it's more than a movie. That's what makes it so great. And it's also just a damn good movie. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see it again. Wakanda forever. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu. You are said about this role, you said there are a lot of similarities between us, you and Kunanan, yeah. that I like to remind myself and other people of what it is to want what you can't have, that I get who doesn't know what it's like to feel unloved or want to rise above your station or just on a very simple level be liked. Sure. Did you like Kunanan? Well, it's my job to like Kunanan. Um, and I think anybody that knew him, his family or friends, there, there, were so, there was so much to like. Now, granted, when you juxtapose that against what he's famous for, it's kind of hard to compromise the two. But we do have to remember that Andrew didn't follow the typical prerequisites of a killer. You know, if you look at the Jeffrey Dahmers of the world, the Mansons, or anybody that's famous for this psychopathic behavior, there's a lot of uh, almost stereotypical patterns in their youth that kind of point to what they did. Whereas Andrew was this very vibrant, bon vivant, uh, loved kid. And, uh, and you really have to wonder, what, what's so heartbreaking about this story, other than the obvious tragedies of, of these homicides, is, is you go, wait, so if there was all these good things happening, your heart breaks more than it does get angry because it's just this wasted potential, something so positive that turned into something that so destructive. So in that sense, yeah, uh, I have to look towards the best part of him and... Um, as an actor, I'm, I'm in the business of empathy. That is my livelihood. Um, my actual opinions of, 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 uh, of morality, I mean, well, I don't have to conceal. I mean, obviously, his, these acts were deplorable and unforgivable. But when you look deeper and when you are trying to find the common denominators between yourself and another person, you're going to find more in common than not. Yeah. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu. The Versace family's not happy with it. No, yeah. I what do they say is wrong about it? Well, first of all, I imagine that if any of the other people's families, you know, of the, of the four other men, had the... Uh, public uh, uh, position that the Versaces did, I'm sure they would, they would say the same thing, um, and they would have every right to. Um, if, if a family member of mine was, was publicly murdered, and I wasn't uh, a part of the narrative that was being broadcasted to millions of people, yeah, it'd, it'd, it'd be upsetting. The story is about Kunanan, right? That's, and that's the, that's the, there's the rub right there. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, they, there's a lot about the Versace's in the show, but a lot of it follows this sort of uh, uh, character study, this character piece of Andrew Kunanan. And, and uh, the truth is we don't, we know what happened at point A and point B. We don't know what was said in those rooms, what was said in the car, we, and we'll never know. And uh, I think what we're trying to convey in our show is less an expose of what really happened because we could never deign to say that we know the truth. We'll never know. But what we can do is tell the narrative arc of what had to have happened emotionally, psychologically for point A and point B to be connected. And that's what interests me. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll never know. And I think the Versaces are more concerned with the way their, um, their family's being portrayed. And I think we portray them with a, with a great deal of respect and love. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu. If you could speak to one animal, what would it be? Yeah, it depends. Is it is like a real animal, like an actual animal? I, was, I think I speak to a hippopotamus. And why is that? 
what's it like walking around like that? Yeah. You know, I mean, you're not handsome. You know you're not right. handsome. They're fast, though. They're yeah. They can run what real fast. What attracts you in yeah. the opposite sex of a hippo? I'm still I'm There you go. Oh, that was the question. I thought you were asking me, and I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm still stuck on the hippo thing. I don't know. I'd want to talk to a penguin, maybe. Penguin, yeah. Yeah, I just want to. What's that like, just, flapping around? What's the, who are your friends? Like, you know, who? What, what do you do all day when you're just kind of hanging out in the Arctic? Like, what's, what's your plan here? Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu. We also know him from his multitude of fan-favorite Broadway roles in productions like How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying and Hedwig and the Hangry Itch. And now Darren is tackling the role of Johnny Versace's killer, Andrew Cunanan, in The Assassination of Johnny Versace, American Crime Story, airs Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on FX. Why are you smiling? Uh, be what well, did a, I pronounce a, I'm wrong? really excited to be here, and I'm not going to deign to correct Larry King. Correct me. But just because you're a theater fan, it may behoove you in future conversations. It's Hedwig and the Angry Inch. But in your defense, what did defense, I say? Angry Itch. I think it was Hangry Itch, which I kind of it, I like that better. Is relatable. You yeah, know, it would have done better. Yeah, like had a, they use my title. They really would have. This is been. the way I get around. That's this. more the millennial title, the Hangry. They tell itch. me that was a very difficult part. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a fun role. Um, it's a very complex role, so uh, I guess uh, difficult makes is a, is a good thing. I think that's a, that's a good superlative to have for a role. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.